That's time for this section of the debate. Um, the open debate is over, but we continue on our theme of Indigenous Affairs. We have a question from an audience member here in Gatineau, Natasha Beatty. Go ahead, Natasha. Good evening. Uh, as a member of Beausoleil First Nation, uh, my question is this. Uh, if elected, how would your parties work with provinces and territories on recognizing and affirming Indigenous rights, specifically noting the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls to action, and the calls for justice in the recent Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls inquiry? Miigwech. The leaders will all have a chance to answer this question. Thank you, Natasha. Uh, starting with Mr. Shear. When we're talking about the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, we need to remember that when you talk about free, prior, and informed consent, that leaves a great deal of uncertainty about what that means. And there are large numbers of Indigenous communities who want these energy projects to succeed, and we need certainty and clarity around that. All right, we, are, we will now go to Ms. May. Natasha Megwich. It's an extremely important question, and Greens across the country are united in this. We will honour the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. It must be brought into law in this country, and our existing web of laws and regulations, which were properly described by the inquiry on missing and murdered Indigenous women as constituting structural violence, must be reviewed and brought up to the standard of the United Nations Declaration. We must bring in the recommendations of the inquiry into missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls, and the calls to action of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. It's not a short-term project. It is on us as settler, Canadian, settler Canadians to bring justice. Monsieur, Monsieur Bonchard. Yes, we also support the declaration of the United Nations on the rights of indigenous people. I do believe, and I've spent the most beautiful moments of this campaign with people from the First Nations. They are nations, as well as Canada is a nation and Quebec is a nation. And a nation does not put its, its culture, its language, its heritage in the hands of another nation. So what they ask for, and they have to ask because we are not, you know, we are no better than they are to represent themselves, is that all those reports and inquiries and declarations bring something real and respectful for them. Mr. Trudeau. Thank you, Natasha, for your question. We have moved forward on reconciliation in ways that no previous government has been able to, but I am the first to recognize there is much more to do. We lifted 87 long-term boil water advisories, and we are on track to lifting the 50 more, uh, but we're continuing to invest in communities. On the issue of child and family services, we recognize uh, the tribunal's ruling that says that children need to be compensated, and we will be compensating them. We also want to move forward with Grassy Narrows it, with the community on a treatment centre and money is not the objection to investing in what they need in that treatment centre. Thank you, Ms. Bernier. No other leader is ready to build a new relationship with our First Nation. They all support the status quo, but the system is broken. We still have extreme poverty on reserve. We need a bold reform and we are the only party that will try to implement property rights on reserve and also establish a new relationship based on self-reliance for these uh, communities. We need to build a new system, working with them, but that's not what they want because we cannot fix the system right now if we don't do a bold reform and we are ready for that. Mr. Singh. Thank you so much for your question. Um, Really, it's, it's a matter of respect and dignity. All, all of the issues that you've raised come down to that basic question of respect and dignity. And one of the first things we would do, we wouldn't take indigenous kids to court and challenge a decision that says they were wi wil willfully and recklessly discriminated against. We wouldn't do that. We would immediately address issues of justice. That means implementing all the recommendations from the reports that are so powerful and have a guideline towards solving the problems. We make sure there's clean drinking water. I don't accept any excuses why we can't in 2019. We make sure that we implement clean housing, uh, good quality housing and education and welfare services. We can do these things.